Hi friends and welcome back to another video. Today in this video we are going to look at how to perform arithmetic operations on our NumPy arrays. There are three ways of performing arithmetic operations on our NumPy arrays. The first method is by using scalars. The second method is by using two arrays of same shape and the third method is by using some built-in functions. So let's get started. So now let's look at how to perform arithmetic operations by using scalars. So firstly let's create an array. Let me name it a and np dot a range and in which I am taking the values from 1 to 9. And now when I check for my array a, here it is. And now let's take 5. So here in this case 5 is my scalar and I am going to add 5 to each and every element to my array A. So in order to do that first we will take our array A and add 5 to it. This is the simple and when we run it here you can see that we have added 5 to each and every element for our array A. And now the same for subtraction multiplication and also for division we can do the same for our 2d arrays too so let me show you b equals np dot random dot rand int and here i am going to create a values from 1 to 100 and then i am creating a array of shape 2 comma 3 and here is my array b and i am adding 10 to each and every element and here you can see that i have added 10 to the first element 13 and got the result as 23 and the, it goes on for the every elements present in it and now let's look at the second way of performing arithmetic operations on our numpy arrays that is by using two arrays it is not only just two arrays, we can use multiple arrays too. So here our primary focus is on performing arithmetic operations on arrays of same shape. Yes, we can also perform arithmetic operations on different shape, but we have to follow some rules and regulations. So we will discuss that in our next video. And now let's focus on performing arithmetic operations on NumPy arrays of same shape. So let me create an array C. So firstly let's start with the 2D array and I'm going to create an array C which is of the same shape as my array B that is 2 comma 3. So np dot I'm going to use my random module and Similarly, 1 to 100 and I'm going to take the same shape and when I check for my array C, it is also of the shape 2 comma 3 and now let's add it B plus B and here we have added them successfully. So how does this work? So how does this work? This works in such a way that when the elements of same index meets up they will add with each other so here the element 38 and 23 meeting up and they sum up to be 51 and we got our result in the same way for our other elements too and here i have created two new arrays of the same shape as my array a and now let's run it and now let's try to add all these three so a plus t plus e and when we run it yeah still we are being able to add them so finally let's look at how to perform the arithmetic operations using functions so there are a lot of functions for performing the arithmetic operations so let me show you np dot add which helps us to add to arrays so let me pass the values d and e and here we got it and we can also subtract them by using the function subtract and let me pass in the array d and d again 
as both d and e are equal we got the value 0 similarly we can multiply by using the function multiply and also we can divide them using the function divide and we also have the function square root and here it takes a single array so let me pass the array c maybe and when we check it here we got the square rooted values of all the elements in our array c and we have the function mean which gives the mean value of our particular array and the median oops i didn't pass a uh, array here and also we have the function std for standard deviation so let me pass the array c and here we got it and yeah that's all for today in this video and in this video we looked at how to perform arithmetic operations on our numpy arrays thanks for watching and let's meet in the next video